Yeah. Hello, South Africa. My name is Zanele Ratsefola. I am a finalist in um, Empress South Africa, which is a national pageant that aims to empower women and um, make them believe in their dreams so that they can be successful in their um, life and also to have a purpose in other people by empowering others from the empowerment that they have received from the pageant. I cannot lie that I have been empowered from this pageant and I have this new perspective of how I see um, and, um, life and always having a positive spirit so that I can go through so many challenges that I have went through and also going to um, get to when I get um, th throughout life. So the question is what is um, the biggest problem in the world, right? And my problem or something that I have seen that is like the biggest problem is the youth. They are lacking hunger for success. Um, not because they are, they don't know what they want to be or it's all because of that they are like afraid of going out there and following their dreams. Yes, you can have dreams, but you not being hungry to be successful and making your dream a reality is the biggest problem. And I feel like if we could all be um, brave enough and go out there and make sure that we achieve our dreams and the things that we want to be in life and also set goals for ourselves and challenge ourselves, then we can, you can like be successful and you can reach your goals and put, if you put your mind towards, to, into anything, then you can achieve whatever you put to your mind. So if um, I could tell you that successful people are successful because they are brave, they are positive and they are optimistic. So whatever that they um, get through or they, the, whatever challenges that they see, they don't see failure as the opposite of success. They see failure as part of success. So in this journey of becoming the next empress, I have um, seen so many people um, in my life. Like I have associated myself with people who are hungry for success. And with this pageant, it has like separated us from being an ego and a chicken. So a chicken is someone who like has doubt and someone who gives up, someone who, who is always in fear and also fears to be rejected. So um, me being an eagle, I know that I am brave, I am positive and I'm not afraid to put myself out there and I am immune to rejection. So for example, throughout this pageant, um, we have been getting challenges to do things and to meet new people that, or, or get out of your comfort zone. And I have learned to do that and to be immune from re um, to rejection. So I'm not uh, afraid to put myself out there. And I urge every young person out there to not be afraid to dream big um, and to be immune from rejection. Yes, you're going to get rejected if your thing is not um, um, approved by the people who have, or your music, people won't listen to your music, people won't um, follow you or like your things. You, you have to be immune from rejection and you're going to learn from that. So um, one of the challenges that I have also encountered throughout this pageant is the oppression um, that women have always been um, around men, um, you know, for example, when you want something or you need help from men, they, they just, there's this stereotype that they feel superior over us and they want to just bring women down. Né? And that has also make me feel like um, we need to be empowered as women so that we can stand for our worth and our value um, so that we can reach our dreams as well. With the empowerment that Empress South Africa has given me, I feel like women has to um, overcome this um, inferior status socially, politically and um, like in life in general. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there and be brave and courageous to follow your dreams because your dreams are valid. And for you to be successful, you just need to be 
hungry for success and work for it so that you can achieve your dreams. Don't just have dreams, have visions and goals that you are, are willing to work hard for them and value them and have values and value yourself. Don't succumb to um, people's values and what people define life. Define yourself and that is like if you get out of your net, your nutshell and stop being a chicken and go out there and like you will see yourself grow as a person and whenever you are in a dark place it is like God will put you in a place in a dark place so that you can grow so that you can because for example I will take for example when you take a seed and you put it on the light where it's comfortable it won't grow but if you put it under the soil where it's dark where it's going to be lonely it's going to um, be um, you know in buried from there that process it's going to grow because it's alone and it's in the dark God places you in a place whereby you are going to be uncomfortable so that you can grow so it's a process in life but at the end of the day you just picture that you are going to have obstacles you're going to have failures but you just have to be hungry for success that's what I can tell you um, the biggest problem in the world is people not being hungry for success. They let um, their circumstances or their background and their situation to define the, their future and their destiny. So if you're in an uncomfortable situation or circumstances, ask yourself, how can I get myself out of this place? And you will um, create a picture of what you want to be and then from there you have a vision board and a dream book where you put your all you jot down everything that you want to see to change and from there you can change each and every situation that you are in and also for you to be successful you need to have a spiritual um purpose for example with the universe i i i use um the power of um, talking to the universe what is this the law of attraction the law of attraction is what has helped me come thus far like you just have to pronounce positive things to the universe and you'll get positive results uh, yeah and just have faith in the universe and whatever that you want to achieve it can be done as long as you set yourself to it then it can be done okay so for you what what's what's your purpose my purpose in life is to um, empower others. I feel like me being confident and people who look up to me asking me, um, how do you do this? How do you want? I want to see um, young people grow and following their dreams. So my purpose is to set an example and be a leader to the people so that um, they can also achieve their dreams so for example the like the words of Nelson Mandela when he said that when you let your light shine you unconsciously you unconsciously let other people um, do the same thing so you persuade other people by doing positive things and so that's my purpose in life wanting to see change in others from my um, success. So my success, I want it to be significant to others. That is what motivates me each and every day to see that when I do something positive, it also affects other people so that they can do something positive. Okay. Now, what can you tell us? As I said, like a story where you can remember that I think this is when things started to happen that has led to you being here. Okay. So I was in matric last year and the whole transition of coming to varsity just made me hit bottom rock and it uh, i was depressed like um, the beginning of the year it was really i went through depression mild depression and i was diagnosed with it um because i was far away from home and i was homesick i was just trying to adapt to a new environment at that time I was so so depressed so after I entered this pageant 
um, late March, it kind of um, empowered me. It made me not to worry and think about um, being far away from home and um, the, 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 the thoughts that I had. So throughout this whole year, I could just say fighting depression until June, that's where it like really made me strong because I had negative thoughts and I thought that I won't be able to even get to the finals. But from the motivation and the empowerment I received from the pageant, that's what made me strong. And also having a close relationship to God um, to fight this depression has made me who I am. I told myself, you know what? The, the God could have just brought you to this place so that you can be in your uncomfortable zone so that you can grow. So I believe that me being um, away from home and things that I'm really used to has made me this strong and positive in life, like looking at life at a positive perspective, yeah, for me to grow as a person, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.